Vista, thank you for your first new sub of the day. He says, this hits right in the feels. Doesn't help that I'm drunk. Oh, it's 9 p.m. in Japan. I was literally about to say, JK. I'm like, bro, it is 8 in the morning. A tribute to Carrie Fisher. Bro, why are you making me all emotional, man? Obviously, this is going to make you cry. It doesn't matter if you're drunk or not watching this. Jeez, JK. Starting off the stream on a somber note, bro. Carrie Fisher, 19. I think I am Princess Leia, and Princess Leia is me. It's like a Mobius strip tease. So I think George did get confused. The less clothing on women, the more confused he is. Probably in a good way. I can't watch this, bro. No wonder, bro, you can't link me something like that. Like, hey, man, this is making me upset. Obviously, goodness gracious, you might as well Google how do I make myself sad. Jeez, God, you're killing me right now, JK. Starting off the stream on a somber note over here. Goodness gracious. Tiny, thank you for nine months. K, thank you for six months. Stationary, thank you for five months. Ladies, thank you for the new sub. Five some live. Since you play McCree often, have you seen this aim bug on McCree? Four minute video worth the watch. Is it though? Like worth the watch? Like, do I care at it's all? It's worth the watch, so check it out. Apparently. All right, I guess it's worth the watch. <laughs> I don't know what the odds are that I skip around in the video to a part where exactly where he's saying it's worth the watch, but I guess we'll uh, take a gander here. A possible bug in the aim mechanics for McCree. Okay. Now, before we begin, I'd like to thank a smaller YouTuber who made the original video that this one is based off. He sent it for us to look at, and we thought it was indeed worth making a video about. His name is Kasim KX. There's an annotation on screen where you can visit his channel and subscribe to it. In his video, he points out what will be the focus of today's video, as well as a few other thoughts about McCree. It's worth a watch, so check it out. Apparently, there is a bug when firing McCree's Peacekeeper. We all know that the weapon has visual recoil, that goes upwards and returns back down in time for the next shot, or a bobble as some people know it. It doesn't bobble back into place perfectly either, as IDDQD pointed out if you're holding the trigger down. What's apparent now though, is that if you try to compensate for the upward kick by dragging your mouse down, the bug will in fact stop your mouse input from registering. To be more accurate, the game will ignore your input if it doesn't move at a certain velocity. So if you're on a low sensitivity, which a lot of good hitscan players are, there's a chance you'll be dragging your mouse down, but your reticle won't move, as you won't have moved it fast enough to break the threshold. I want to make this clear, this is only relevant for downwards input. Other directions are unaffected. So what does this mean? Is it intentional? What are its limits and does it even matter what it is? Well to show you, I'll side by side some footage of me pulling down on my mouse mat while my crosshair stays in the same place while shooting as McCree. This obviously isn't a scientific test, but it should easily be enough to demonstrate what's happening. In the original video, Kasim went as far to use a mouse script to ensure the movement was exactly the same every time. It's definitely a real phenomena and the lower your sensitivity, the more it's noticeable. A quick note, a mouse script is where you can write code to automate functions that the mouse can perform at the press of any button. Some high-end mice manufacturers allow this functionality. In Kasim's test, he coded a downward movement at a fixed velocity so he could repeat the action to test it with different heroes. The McCree bug appears to function like a velocity cap. If you make a quick large movement like a downward flick, it overrides this and moves the crosshair. So with a much higher sensitivity, you will notice this much less. It also has less of a noticeable effect when tap fire but it is still there. Frido has described it as being a downwards dead zone. That's actually quite a good analogy. Dead zones are used in controller thumbsticks to basically make them usable. There's areas where- I mean, yeah, I mean, it's something that should get fixed. That's, I mean, I'm sure that's something they'll look into now. It's good to know. Thank you for your five. I'm not watching the whole video though. I, like, I get it. You can't aim down. Yo, Strider, thank you for-